Kayamai comes in and racing away from that 1450 metre marker. Red Bomber began very nicely. Ivy League up on the outside with Pomo, Clapper, Hotter Ruby, the cheek pieces, two lengths off the leader. Prince of Green is back towards their inside. Further back to Kayamai and the back markers, the newcomer Festival of Magic, struggling to go with them in the early part, seven lengths off the leader. But it's Ivy League up in front now as they head down the side of the track with a thousand to go. Ivy League by two from Hotter Ruby in second. Red Bomber on the paint in third. On the outside of them, the blinkers there of Pomo Clapper. Prince of Green's got six lengths to make up as the front one gets away. Kayamai second to last with Festival of Magic. They're about to come to the top of the elbow. They've got 650 metres left to go and it's Ivy League by two. Red Bombers back in second. On the outside, Hotter Ruby. Prince of Green's got slightly closer now, starting to edge forward. Two lengths to go. Kayamai the Greys on the outside of the track, then Festival of Magic and Pomo Clapper. They head down into the final 300. Red Bomber slips through along the inside to pick up the advantage. Kaimai, Hotter Ruby, Prince of Green and Ivy League. They're in a straight line. Then Festival of Magic. It's Red Bomber, Hotter Ruby towards the outside. Kaimai is coming home hard too, but Red Bomber holds the advantage with 100 metres left to go. It's front uh, Red Bomber here from Hotter Ruby. On the outside is Kaimai. It's Red Bomber, Hotter Ruby's coming back to challenge. Red Bomber and Hotter Ruby. Red Bomber. Red Bomber got there from Hotter Ruby. Ivy League rallied back for third. Then Festival of Magic and Kaimai. Prince of Green and Pomo Clapper. Further back was Prince of Green and Pomo Clapper. Well done to Gavin Lorena and the colours of Mr. Rakesh Shigulam in partnership with Jared and Lawrence Werners and uh, Mr. Lance and Mrs. N.J. Everett Hall. This one is bred at Lamaskral Stud. He's very highly thought of and he can only get better from here on in in his three-year-old campaign. It's Red Bomber beating Hotter Ruby Ivy League behind that was uh, the grey horse Kayamai on the stand side. That's the running of race two. Next up, the PA. Well, it's number three, Red Bomber, who comes through to win race number two, first leg of our bar pot this afternoon. Gavin, the regular pilot, he's been all over the country with him. And uh, Gav, well done. It was a nice one, yeah, to fight all the way to the line. Yeah, it was just quite a fight live, but, uh, you know, he stuck in there and he kept his nose in front. Um, he's still quite a green horse, but I think he's just going to keep improving the racing. I think that the uh, the form line might work out because, you know, the, the one or two that you beat there aren't, aren't slouches. No, uh, you know... Obviously, uh, Sean Terry's horse, you know, we had to give him five and a half kilos. Mm. It's a lot of weight for these young horses, so I think it was a, a great win from this horse. Okay, a few quick questions, please. You shouldn't come early in the day. How's the track feeling? Yeah, track's in good shape. Uh, nice grass covering. Uh, very slight headwind, but um, we're going to have a good day's racing. And then just the two I wanted to ask you, Future Wolf and uh, Running Rifles, what were your thoughts there today? Yeah, Future Wolf, I think he's a very honest horse. He's always in with a chance. Uh, he's got a nice draw today. Just hoping to find one or two to lead us, um, mm. and then he will give us a good kick. And uh, uh, running, rifles, running rifles, 61 kg. Yeah, a lot of weight to shoulder. Yeah. I've never sat on him, but his last win looked very impressive. Uh, also, it was a gutsy win, so looking forward to riding. Okay. Last question. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. What an honor just to ride that horse. Yeah. Are, you, are you ready for this? I'm looking so forward to it. Um, I'm blessed to be on him in his last start. And uh, he's a horse that's looking very healthy. Uh, he's in great shape, and uh, I'm looking forward to riding him. Both jockey and horse certainly have a big match temperament, let's hope. Yeah, he's definitely got it. <laughs> so have you, Gav. Thank you. Yeah. Big thanks to Wilkebosch Drift and Mersfontein, uh, to Jan, who's on his way to Durban, well done. And to Mr Everett Hall, thank you very much. Uh, to Vakesh, thank you very much. And to Jared, uh, Tessa, and Mr. Werner's whole family, well done. Thanks, Gav. Thank you. That's Gavin Lorena. He'll be on Do It Again on Saturday. Now, here we go. This is Victor. Please, Victor, well, well done. You get to look after this horse, and I think this horse is quite good. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to thank uh, my trainer, uh, the Unas, and the Joki. Yeah, the horse is working very well, and it's a good horse. Yeah. Did you go with this horse to Durban? No, I didn't go. Uh, that's why I didn't win. They must take you next time. Yeah, next time, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But well done to you. Here's one and a half thousand rand. Thank you very much, Victor. Looking after this horse, and hopefully we chat again. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. There we go. Well, it's worth waiting. Thank you. Well done to the owners here. Number three, Red Bomber. 
Yeah, he showed that, that last run. Probably not his best, of course, even though 10 lengths behind Lucky Lad, not that bad. The numbers here are 3, 5, 6 and 4. That's race 2. Bipod done. PA coming up next.